Hey everyone, it's me Abby. Abby, this isn't your video. Get out of here. I don't get paid enough for this. Uh -huh. Hey everyone, it is me Maddie, and today I will be ranking every single G3 Monster High doll released in 2022. So let's get into it. So the doll, the worst doll of the year, in my opinion, is creep over frankie not saying i don't like this frankie or that they're ugly or first of all the hair couldn't you do anything more interesting with the hair i'm sorry <laughs> i mean i like the robe i like the pants i just don't the vibes aren't getting to me i feel like if the green wouldn't have been there i would have actually been able to like this stall but like ugh, the color scheme is just meh, i don't like i will get them but like I don't know, it's just not like my first pick. <laughs> okay, so next up we have the basic wave deuce. Okay, I do like deuce. Do you like <laughs> I do like the stall in general. It's just that I'm not a big fan of the monster dolls. I don't know why. I just feel like they're meh. Though I actually really like his eyes in this version, to be honest. Though I don't know what happened to his glasses. Why is he not wearing his glasses? He will literally turn everybody into stone, but you know, do what you gotta do. Still like the doll, like there's no doll in this list that I actually like don't like. So, just a heads up. Anyways, next up we have Creepover Claudine. Okay, so I wasn't a big fan of the Creepover line, let's be real, like, I didn't think it was that interesting of a line, but I feel like it's the G3 equi equivalent to Dead Tired, obviously. And I did love two other dolls from the doll line, but it's just that, I mean, this doll, Claudine, she's gorgeous. But I prefer other dolls over her, literally. I feel like she should have more of a dark purple to her. And then she would have been more fierce. But, you know, this doll just isn't fierce. <laughs> Sorry, Claudine. Anyways, next up we have the Skultimate Secrets Laguna. Okay, so once again, this doll is pretty. It's just that there's something about the outfit that is just not making sense to me. The green lips are pretty. I like that. I like the turquoise lips. I do like that. It's just that the vibe that I'm getting from this doll is not the best. You know? Not my favorite, but not like... I would still buy her. I mean, I think the price for these dolls will be like $35, which is a lot. But Anyways, next up we have Budget Claudine. Why am I ranking Claudine so low? I'm sorry. It's just that her budget dolls were not the best. This doll is actually really pretty. I really like this doll. I like that she has a little shorter hair. I like that she's actually wearing her glasses in the pro promo pic. Why can I not say that? Promo pic. Though, for the longest time, I thought she had molded on um, sleeves for some reason. I don't know. It kind of looks like it. And I thought she was just like stuck in that position. I was like, what the heck is this? But anyways, next up we have G3. What? budget basic frankie so i don't have anything against them literally the only thing that i don't like about this doll is the lack of black and blue hair in their hair what the hell like frankie's hair is just basically white with like a tiny bit of streaks of blue and black like what so i just feel like this doll was lacking black hair <laughs> anyways next up we have Skultimate Secrets Cleo. this doll is very pretty it's just that when i was looking at all the dolls that was left I love all of them. So, she had to be the least. I'm sorry, Cleo. Please forgive me. Do not murder me when I'm sleeping. The only thing that I don't like is the pop of pink on her lips and on the earrings. And that is the only complaint I have. Otherwise, I love this doll. I think she's glorious. Like, I love her. Like, she's literally slaying the game. I love her so much. She's such an icon. You know, we all love a good Cleo. It's just like, why the splot of pink? Why can't she have like black lips or golden lips? I feel like that would have been iconic. And maybe like blue earrings. I don't know, to match the skirt. I feel like that wouldn't have been good. But also, since she has like turquoise dashes on her shoes, I feel like a turquoise lip plus turquoise earrings would have been so pretty. Just a little disclaimer. Now the dolls will like, these are not bad dolls. I love all these dolls that are to come. So next up, we have Budget Draculaura. So I don't hate this doll. I love her, like I said. It's just that I feel like she's a short-sleeved version of her basic doll. Like, literally, they look so similar. Wait, hello? Okay, now she's wearing, like, the cape, so you can't really see the outfit. But she's literally just a short-sleeved version of her. And I feel like she is kind of necessary. I mean, she has different shoes, different pants, and different earrings. Otherwise, I feel like she's pretty the same. Um, if you go into it, you see how different they are. But, like, literally, 
otherwise I feel like she's just a cheaper version of her basic doll which we love that if you can't afford the other one which I think it's great that we have options but still just like I don't know kind of necessary I feel like they should have added like some bracelets like some black bracelets maybe could have added to the look and make them not look that identical you know what i mean but anyways next up we have creep over draculaura so this doll is actually really cute i love that she has the um actually the tired shoes kind of and that she also comes with count fabulous i love her hairstyle the hairstyle is just iconic i used to love having that hairstyle when i was a bit younger so that is a slay for me <laughs> and i love her little robe her little shirt and i don't know i can't see really what is she so i think she's holding oh i think she's holding um glasses love the pants love everything about this doll i think she's iconic also she has really iconic earrings <laughs> anyways next up we have the ghoul spirit ghoul spirit five pack so i actually really enjoy this five pack i enjoy the draculaur i really like the cleo i meh, like the uh claudine i don't like that she they gave gave her <laughs> orange details i'm not a big fan of that but i love frankie oh my god that beauty i can't don't hate deuce and i love torlight i just love every torlight doll literally torlight is iconic i don't feel like these dolls are bad um in any way though i feel like the price point does not make up for it i feel like if this five pack would have been like 70 bucks it would have been good by the way frankie's shoes looks exactly <laughs> like the hello kitty doll's shoes if y'all watched my five dollars i would never collect video there's a, a doll line with hello kitty dolls that is wearing exactly those shoes love that anyways next up we have the gorgeous accessory no draculaurus gorgonizer doll and her gorgonizer cat i do actually really like this doll i think she's really really pretty i think she reminds me a lot of the music festival doll and that is one of my favorite draculaurus i think that the colors just flow very well together and I like that we, we finally saw uh, Dracula with that hair color again, like her OG hair color and not the split dye. I'm a big fan of the split dye, but still. And I like the factor that she comes with a Gorgonizer. It is giving the dead tired um, Dracula playset with a bed. Very iconic. I love this doll. Next up, we have Frankie Skeleton Secrets. This is probably my favorite Frankie G3 Frankie doll of the year um i know that the coffee break doll should have probably been higher than this doll but i like the fact that it's a two pack so don't judge me this doll is just so pretty i love the different colors in this doll i think that they look so gorgeous i love this frankie literally so much the boot is giving iconicness i don't like the fact that they're giving kind of electrified frankie i don't know i'm getting kind of the vibes but this one is way better than the electrified one so we can't even compare like hello this is such a pretty frankie and i'm so 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 excited to get this line i love um gorgonizer no sculpting secrets anyways like i said next up we have the coffee break two pack this is a really pretty frankie i love the side side I don't know what it's called. I just love this two-pack. Um, I don't love the deuce, but I love the fact that it's a two-pack. I love two-packs in general. I don't know. I think it's iconic that you get two dolls, you know? This time around, I do really like the fact that Frankie only has a bit of black in their hair. Otherwise, I didn't like it. But this time, I feel like they used a more expensive hair type. I don't know if they did. I'm just getting the vibes. <laughs> Can I stop saying that, please? So yeah, these are iconic. Next up, we have Basic Claudine. Yes, she is my least favorite basic doll, but she's still an icon. Not saying she, that she looks bad or anything. I just love this doll. I think she's iconic. I actually do like that she like that she wears glasses. I wear glasses myself, so I like the representation of that. I just love the fur coat. I feel the fur coat is iconic. I like that she now has um, lighter hair because it's giving Ghoul's Rule Claudine. Ghoul's Rule Claudine is one of my favorite Claudines. So that is fun and funky. Ew. So yeah, I love this doll. I think she's iconic. Love the purse. Love the hair and everything. Next up, we have Basic Torlai. I love this Torlai. I think that she's so, so, so cute. Is she a singer now? i'm sorry what the only thing that is making me not putting her in the top five is that she has long hair i mean i will always love a good torlai but i don't feel like she has long hair you know some characters just don't 
have long hair she's giving off very much freak to chic vibes i have a freak to chic doll i do like it but this doll is giving twirly she's giving glamorous she's giving fierce she's giving why do you collect dolls at such a old age you know she's giving you know she's iconic anyways next up we have creep over twyla i love twyla i like her a lot the only thing that i don't like about this doll is that she they gave her more neon colors like on her old doll she was she had like more muted colors but now they really popped i like that a lot i mean i'm a big neon colors fan um also i feel like this should have been her basic doll because the outfit is just her basic doll but it's apparently her creeper doll i don't get it i do like her a lot i don't like the bunny hat though i know i know it was a big trend back in 2020 i just feel like it's not what i love <gasps> canceled anyways next up we have the basic laguna oh my god how much i love this doll she's so 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 pretty actually why did i put her so low i don't know why i love this doll i own this doll she's so pretty literally one of my favorite um d3 dolls she's so 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 pretty i love the fact that she's pink okay i'm popular opinion y'all might hate me do it if you want i don't care I like her more than the OG. I know, I know. I like her a lot more than the OG. I don't know why. It's just something about, like, it's in me. I just don't like the original. Good. I mean, I like her design. I think she's iconic. I love her a lot. I just feel like this makes her stand out more. Um, I mean, it does make her look a lot like everyone else. Like, she doesn't, st she doesn't look, I don't know, as different as everyone now i don't know i can't wear this word oh my god i can't speak i just love this laguna and she's actually the only one that i have yet posted a review of because i was too tired to do a review of the other dolls but laguna i did because i love her she's laid love her so much anyways next up we have the basic cleo oh my god how much i love her like i love this cleo so much i'm sad that she's wearing the jacket on this version though on the like um stock image but she's just ah uh, this is just clear like and I, a lot of people did not like that she has blue hair and that she now kind of looks like nephora i love that fact i've always loved nephora so i feel like it is cool vibe to her i don't know why it just adds to the doll you know i feel like she looks better with that <laughs> not better but better than her prototype doll that leaked ah! anyways next up we have the basic frankie this doll is just so 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 perfect i love this frankie they are so pretty i love their shoes i love their skirt hello the skirt is iconic the jacket slayed the hair slayed the um, purse slayed the belt slayed i love this frankie this frankie is so pretty i love the dashes of pink in the outfit i just love this frankie like they slayed so hard Anyways, next up, you guys. I don't. I don't just fell. Briar. Next up, we have Basic Dracula. Oh my god, I own this doll too. I feel like she's just so pretty. I love the split hair. I have wanted to have split dye hair all my life, but I got boring brown hair. So she's just so pretty. I just love her. Like, there's nothing that I would change about this doll. I don't like the fact that Count Fabulous is purple. Is he purple in real life? Oh my god, yeah, he is what the hell i still love her though she's oh, so pretty i love her anyways now we're coming to my top three ah! it's getting hot up here or is it just these dolls <laughs> so next up we have skulltimate secrets claudine why didn't i pick this to be the number one <laughs> wait did i say top three these are literally the only dolls left there's this one and my number one were left what the hell anyways this claudine is giving me chills chills i can't pronounce that sorry i love her like the hat the hair the light lips i feel like the light lips sold me on her and the hair oh the original jacket the okay i'm not a big fan of the pants or the shirt actually but the shoes i've always loved pink and green i don't think it's pink though but it's it has a little tint of pink it's like a cool pink like purple pink i don't know this is just like the best doll ever i love her so much she's so 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 pretty 
one of the best G3 dolls. Let's just say that. She's so pretty. I love, 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 love her. Anyways, you guys, it's time for me to talk about my favorite or to announce my top one favorite Monster High doll of 2022. It is... Brrr, drum roll, please. Well, I guess that was a drum roll. It is... Scultimate Secrets Draculaura. <laughs> like, you're just watching this doll or looking at this doll. It's just like, I love her so much. The hair with the black bangs and then the pink on the top and then the black underneath. It's just so pretty. Her hat. I can't get over her hat. Her puffy sleeves. Oh my god, it's literally giving briar. Hello? The dash of purple underneath her shoes and in her earrings is just the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And the shoes alone, I feel like the shoes really tie to look together, I don't know. This is just one of my favorite dolls in existence. I love, 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 love this doll. And I will pay a lot to get her. I don't care what you guys say, if you guys say she's ugly, if she does not look good, I don't care. I love this doll. One of the best Monster High dolls of the year, okay. She's so pretty. I love her so much. So yeah, this video is kind of long. I apologize. I rambled on again. Yeah, this is another episode of <laughs> Rambling with Matt. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed it. Thank you, Abby, for your feedback. <laughs> By the way, what? By the way, thank you guys so, so much for 460 subscribers. We're literally almost at 500. I can't. So if you want to make my day and click the subscribe button, it, it makes me so happy. Literally, comment something fun. I literally answer every single comment I get. Literally. So comment what you think, your ranking maybe. I love reading you guys' rankings. I feel like it's pretty interesting. Like the video if you enjoyed it and maybe share it to your friends. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!